Of the 7,700 hectares of flowers planted in Colombia, more than 1,500 are planted with hydrangeas. The geographic location, the quality of the soil and the dedicated work of flower growers have made Colombia the second largest exporter of flowers in the world, after Holland. Likewise, flowers are Colombia's second largest export. According to information from the Colombian Association of Flower Exporters, Asoco Flores, it is estimated that 75% of the total flower production in this country is exported. Currently, Colombian flowers reach more than 100 countries around the world, with Colombia being the main supplier of flowers in the USA, Canada and Japan. Among the main flower export production areas, the east of Antioquia stands out with 33% of production. We are located in Vereda El Colorado in the municipality of Garn, the crop is called Greenway Flower. Here we are in a lot where we have a purple flower. Here we have three varieties, purple, white and lemon, it is an export product. We have an area of approximately one and a half hectares. Here we are producing approximately 3,000 stems of purple elite. And in total we are shipping more or less about 8,000 stems per month. The cultivation is programmed, which means that we have a staggered schedule. We program approximately 3 to 4,000 bushes taking into account the size of the crop and we will have a permanent scale of flower so we will always have flower to work with. Normally we work it for periods for example the one that is coming right now, Valentine's Day so we have a little higher production than normal and then sales go down a little bit and we prepare for the peak of Mother's Day. We produce the flower here and normally we work with several traders. They export them to different countries and the sizes and variety of the flower is according to the client's needs. Sometimes they ask for a flower of a certain size and specify the hydration that the flower must have. Well, the most exported flower or the variety and color is the white one. I think that because white is a base color that can be dyed in any other color, then white is the one that moves the most. Normally the purple flower, here where we are, is a flower that is seasonal, so that flower comes out less, but it is a flower that pays well, so one thing compensates the other. That is to say, less quantity, but they pay better. The flower in the marketing companies, according to the demands of the client who orders it in other countries, they can grind it in the color they want. Sometimes by absorption, they look for the color, but that is basically done with the white flower, they arrange a kind of paint in buckets with water, place the stems, and from one day to another the flower changes color, absorbs the paint. This flower is exported to USA, Japan and China. The flower is handled seasonally. When the season is low in the USA, then sometimes we have high seasons in Japan and that makes us have permanent exports. Well, the processes as such are the same. What happens is that now they are demanding a lot that the flower is hydrated with a product that will make it last longer. Because before it was worked and cut, 
it was hydrated in water with cotton and the flour came out. Now we don't, we put a product in the water to hydrate it and the flour will last longer. This variety is very popular, it has very beautiful and intense colors. It is not a variety of much trade, because the purple variety is very much covered by a botrytis fungus that three or four days later in many occasions gives the flower, then the flower rots when it reaches the place where it should arrive. That is why they are avoiding it a lot, but we are working on spraying with fungicides that are helping us a lot to control this disease. The hydrangea variety is very much attacked by some pests. Among them are mites, aphids, thrips, among others. Diseases that also affect the foliage are ash, alternaria and botrytis, the latter being very aggressive because it also attacks the flower. So, it must be kept under control with the help of some fungicides that are available in the market. To prepare the land where we are going to plant the hydrangea, as such, we have to tractor the soil because the soil must be well chopped, the soil must be very soft, and then we proceed to whitewash it, we have to whitewash it. Then, we proceed to do the sowing which is done in cuttings from a seed bed that we previously have in a place to do the transplants. The transplanting of the seed is done approximately two months after making the seed bed. We don't look for the cuttings to have a good root as such, but basically that they have a good root and we proceed to plant. After planting, we will have enough time to start weeding, weeding and fertilizing respectively. During a process of approximately 8 months, which is when we will begin to have the first flower stalks. The hydrangea as such can be worked in several stages. It starts to be exported from small size, from 8 cm onwards. The white variety for example would be mini green, and that goes between 8 and 10 cm. Then follows another stage of the flower that would already be mini way. It goes between 12 and 14 centimeters. Then would follow the selecta that goes between 15 and 17 centimeters. Then we would have the premium that goes within 18 and 21 centimeters. Then would come the jumbo white that goes between 22 and 24 centimeters. Those are the stages in which the hydrangea is handled as such. In this flower we have, for example, this stem that is going to be discarded because it is approximately 6 cm long, but it is already opening its petals. A flower should be approximately 8 to 10 cm and its opening is just beginning. Well, the size of the stem or the length of the stem of the leaves to be exported varies according to the needs of the trader, ranging from 25 cm in length to approximately 65 cm, which is the most common. But, the traders ask us for flowers of different sizes in length of the stem, This is used so that it is hydrated in the way and root that it makes. Then, what happens? It may simply need the mere head, a smaller stem length.
Here we have an area of approximately 1200 to 1300 square meters, and we have approximately 6000 bushes. You may wonder why there are so many bushes in such a small area. What happens here is that we plant in a double bed, which means that instead of one row we plant two rows at a distance of approximately 80 centimeters from row to row, which means that we can fit more bushes in the area. Between plant and plant, it is sown approximately between 25 and 30 centimeters, and that is according to how the person wants to sow. It is done in double bed and the space is better used. Then from bed to bed is left a distance of approximately 90 centimeters to have enough space to enter to make the respective fumigations. In this batch, we start the programming process. It has one week of program, and from here on we must wait approximately 180 days, which is when it starts its buttoning again. As we can see in the front, we have another lot that is already more or less in six weeks and there we already have a different cycle of program. How do we prevent the flower from falling to the center of the threshing floor or thread? We put the netting as the other lot is there, it will prevent the flowers from falling. So that is the explanation of why the mesh and not the kabuya. This is a matter of taste of each person. There are people who like to use kabuya because it takes less work and it is cheaper, but the benefit is that the flower will not fall off. Here we have a batch 18 weeks old. As we can see it is beginning to bud, it would take approximately 2 weeks to start harvesting as such. Let's not forget that this product is marketed when the buds are 8 centimeters or more. So this is an 18 week batch. This is the lemon variety. It starts with the process of what would be a mini. In this case we call it mini mojito. And it starts to work from 8 centimeters onwards. Then we move on to a selecta. Where the color will be in green. It will have a specific color and this flower is worked in this way until approximately 18 centimeters when it is already a premium. From 18 centimeters onwards, when it has an opening of more than 90%, it starts to change color and turn white. Well, here we are in a lot of the lemon variety, we have two jumbo flowers here. This flower occurs when it has a 100% opening and still retains the green color. The hydrangea variety has the particularity that when it reaches this stage it tends to change color. So here we still have a green color that is still preserved and this flower begins to turn pink. So we are talking about that after 40 to 45 days it is completely pink and will be a jumbo pink. After that, the other stage of the flower will follow, which will be the antique. It will no longer be called jumbo pink, but it will be called antique, because it starts to turn green again, but already an aged green. So, it will be the last process of the flower as such, 
It is a flower that will last longer due to the process it carries and it is the last process of the flower.